good patch. Got six tonight. So simple. This one's the biggest one. So we got one, two. There's two there, three, four, five. Got him. Oh, what's happening, fam? James Incognito here. Yes, bruh. We've been off for a long time, man. So I finally got situated in LA, and I want to start uh, posting some vlogs on the uh, YouTube channel. So for today, we're going to do a lobster trapping video. Basically, just uh, show you guys what, what I carry with me, uh, how I do it, what I catch if I do catch anything. Now, lobster trapping is just like fishing. Sometimes you're gonna catch uh, some fish. Sometimes you're gonna skunk out. So hopefully tonight we get some lobster uh, and some nice size. So I've been going out and uh, I have had some pretty good luck. I've gotten some pretty big ones and I figured, man, why not be filming this? You know what I mean? Because it's some pretty cool footage. So uh, the only thing that sucks right now is uh, my car got broken into a few months back and they took my GoPro. So we are gonna be doing this all from the iPhone. We're on the iPhone right now. Hopefully the mic uh, is, or the sound isn't too bad. I do have the uh, earpiece in. So we gonna see how this goes. And uh, eventually I'm gonna have to get, get myself a couple uh, new GoPros. And uh, I did get a new kayak. So you guys stay tuned for that. We'll go over that in a second. But uh, in the meantime, we need a little bit of bait. So we're gonna go over to uh, West Marine and uh, pick up some mackerel, all right? They got the best prices in town on the bait. So uh, let's go ahead and get this vlog started. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Little macro. We get three bags today because I already got a little bit of bait. All right, guys, so I do have a new lobster trap. Not a new one, but a new, uh, like, old one. And I need one of these guys. So these, this is where you put your bait in. These are the cheap ones. You don't want these because the sea lines will break through it. We got to set up our traps on the outside of that wall. All right. And uh, basically just move them around as much as possible. So we got two versions of traps. All right, so we have the Promar... Uh, I think it's called the ambush. It's ba as you can see, it's basically like a little volcano, right? So it's got this top thing. You put the bait box inside and the uh, lobster crawls in there. And we also have this flat one, as you can see. See the difference, right? These are still good. But like I said, I'm not used to using them. So we are gonna see if, uh, we get beginners good luck using that one. These definitely pull lobster up, man. I eat lobster all the time. Bait for tonight, we got mackerel. Salmon head works well, but uh, I've noticed that with the mackerel, I'm having way better luck. So uh, we got to cut that up so that it fits into the bait boxes in here. So like I was saying earlier, the sea lions can't break into this and steal your bait. The last thing you want is for your trap to be down there with no bait because the sea lions ate it. And then, you know, that tra trap done, unless you have extra bait. So uh, we're gonna cut these up, fill them up. So you're only allowed to have five traps per fisherman. If you're on a boat with uh, someone else, then you're allowed 10. But if you're on a boat and you have three people, you can't have 30, you can only have a total of 10. So uh, as a kayaker or single fisherman, uh, by yourself, five traps. So they're all set now. We got the bait box loaded with uh, all the fish. We got the uh, buoys set up. I don't have glow sticks for tonight. Those are old glow sticks, and they're about two bucks each. You know, if you if you're out here somewhat often, you know, five traps. That's probably like twelve bucks. You know, uh, twelve bucks times three or four in one week. You know what I mean? So it kind of adds up. So. I've kind of been going without. I don't suggest or recommend you not use glow sticks because it's kind of hard at night to see where your buoy is, but I'm kind of familiar with the area, so it's not that hard for me. So let's go 
load these on the kayak. So I don't know how much depth we got. Should be enough for the kayak. Man, looks pretty low. So I'm gonna try and launch off the edge there. Hopefully the kayak don't get stuck. So let's bring some stuff over. Here's the upgraded uh, kayak. We got the Hobie, Yezer, and it's a uh, pedal driven. So here's a pedal drive. Works kind of like a bike. The dogs are swimming. So it's definitely smaller in comparison to my last kayak. My last kayak was a 12.5, this is a 10.5. 10 so there was a little bit more space, but the uh, luxury is uh, I got the pedal drive. So it's a lot easier to get back and forth. Hey guys, pedal drive. We're going like that. That's what it looks like mounted on there. So it's definitely very secure. There's definitely other ways of doing it, but this is just kind of how I figured it out. So. Let's stay on there. Should stay on there, so. Wish me luck. Oh, by the way, we got a rudder here. So this allows me to turn, which my old kayak didn't have. So this is basically my steering wheel right here. All right coming together last thing before we go we got to stay warm out there so this is my old pair of waders uh, I'm getting a new pair for Christmas so uh, they kind of leak a little bit they're basically suspenders that keep me dry so I wear the yellow ones on top of those that'll keep me dry and then uh, this jacket right here is basically a fishing jacket look that brand up man Sheesh. definitely keeps my hoodie dry and then I wear sweats underneath so uh, it's a process, man, getting all this ready and getting going. But number one, if you're not warm out there, it's going to be over. You're going to call it a night. We don't want to do that because lobster trapping, you got to be out there for a long time. Sun's going down. Time to get out. Can't forget about the gains. We got some white rice, some chicken thighs in there. Let's go. There goes one trap right there. You can see see the floater or the buoy. And uh, once the sun goes down, man, you pretty much just gotta move them around. You know what I mean? So uh, let's give us some time and uh, hopefully we catch slot seven, which is the max you can keep. So you guys wish me luck, baby. Sun has gone down and uh, we're gonna go retrieve, pull traps up. They've been soaking for probably about 45 minutes. So uh, hopefully we got something in there. But uh, this is what it looks like at night, guys. Need your lights and everything, man. All right, guys, first trap, pulled up some lobster. But these are all undersized. They're all small, so we gotta go ahead and eat them. Well, here's one right here. Little guy. He's too small. They, they, they're uh, walking though, crawling. This guy, I might measure him. There's another one here, which we're gonna throw out. Another one stuck there, so 
Actually, this guy. Ow! Yeah, he not he not big enough. He's too small. He looked like a decent size, but all right. So no keepers on this one. All right, guys. So we got another uh, trap. This is the only trap. This is my fifth trap I pull up. And uh, we got one legal lobster. He's right there. But uh, it seems like, so all, all the small, all my small, I mean, uh, all my traps had small ones in it, which means they're walking around. They are crawling, baby. So, oof, oof. That's the legal one right there. We're going to pull them out right now. Let me uh, throw these out. He's kind of a nice size. Definitely, uh, yeah, he's definitely a nice size, man. Ooh, look at that bad boy. See, they're spiny all over their body, so it cuts, cut your hands up. But uh, let me show you guys how to measure with your tool. Hopefully, you don't jump out the bottom of them so we basically just me measure its head so we put this point here between its horns these horns right there and we're just going to measure its head so if its head is bigger than the tool we can keep them so you can see definitely illegal lobster if this piece right here this end piece can't point right here at the bottom at the bottom of the head was on the tail then it would not be a legal lobster but this guy is legal let's go baby yes sir so basically uh the first pull got one lobster uh then i soaked the traps again for about another 40 45 minutes and this is this pull so i pulled all five traps up and only one lobster one keeper uh out of all of them there's a bunch of short ones in the other trap but uh this guy he is i just measured him and he's good to go he almost got out Whoa. Oh, got him bro he almost got out there i'm just gonna put him in the bag <laughs> i might lose him i'm just gonna put him in the bag and uh we can measure him afterwards i've already measured him he's legal so he's going in the bag let's go can't lose him Bro, I almost lost that lobster, man. Bro, they cut up your hands gnarly, bro. Look. I think I got another one right here. So, they are spiny. But, uh, so far, uh, two lobsters down after two soaks, which isn't bad. You know, so usually I'll try and get five or six soaks. So, uh, we'll keep you guys posted. All right, so now we're gonna chow down. Like I said earlier, we got a little chicken and rice. Oh, we. That looks delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner started. And then uh, hopefully after that. Yeah, my boy over there got some lobsters. There's two dudes over there. Let's go. I just heard one of them shout, whoa. All right, guys, we're taking an L today on the rack. Uh, I crazy glued it together today. I used it the other day and it was totally fine. And I guess, cause it wasn't crazy glued it, it, uh, you know, it had low flexibility. So I crazy glued all the joints up and uh, I was leaning back in the chair and then snap right here. And that blood is from this little corner right here, man. I sliced my finger up. It's not that bad, but we're taking the L on the rack. I'm gonna have to make one tomorrow, another one. But, oh, and also my headset went out. So I don't know what the mic's gonna sound like or if it even sounded better earlier. But anyway, anyways, guys, uh, just two lobsters. Dinner was delicious. And we're still waiting, so L on the rack. So far we've got four lobsters. Um, seems like every pull, I, I think I've pulled, pulled the traps up four times. 
so far. And um, every time we pull the traps up, it's always five traps. So it seems like we've had one every pull, one keeper. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys what we have. Uh, so, so far we've got four. And uh, the mic's gonna be off right now too, guys, because I think the uh, my ear set went out a second ago. So sounds probably quality is gonna be off, but I definitely gotta get a GoPro, a couple GoPros and set those up because uh, th that'll make a huge difference. But uh, let's show you guys the lobsters. Uh, so we got a grocery bag full of them. That's four legal lobsters on the night. Let's go. Uh, we still got a few few more pulls left, maybe two, maybe three pulls, depending on uh, how cold it is, because uh, it is getting cold, but still warm now. So we'll check you guys later. All right, guys, we're going back out there. Check on the traps. So far, we've got four lobsters. Yes. And... Uh, we're gonna go check on four traps right now outside. I just checked on one. I keep one kind of around the inside, but uh, I gotta put a longer rope on it so I can put it outside. Anyways, on our way, I think this is pole number four, maybe five. We're not doing too bad. We already got four lobsters, like I said. So hopefully we got one, at least maybe two on this next pull between the four that we're gonna go check. So, uh. Let's go see what's happening. Lobster number five. Let's go, just measured him, he's good to go. So he's gonna go in the bag. Uh, I've got one more trap to pull up. So I've only pulled up three of the traps out here and we got one legal. So this makes it five on the night. This is really good because it's really hard to get you know more than two or three sometimes so let's hope there's another one in uh the last trap then we'll probably give it a couple i don't know i might stay another soak so uh hopefully you guys are enjoying nighttime fishing spiny california lobster let's go i think i'm happy with five lobsters for tonight so i'm gonna paddle back out pull the traps up hopefully there's something in there if not we're headed back to the dock and uh we're gonna call it a night so let's go check on those traps maybe maybe not something's gonna be in there but either way we had a good night five bugs let's go all done for the night successful lobster trap tonight for sure <laughs> uh I think I got six lobsters. Might be five. We'll do the countdown when we get home. By the way, guys, the traps are holding on for dear life. Looks like the the broken uh, rack that I made for the uh, traps to sit on. Without that uh, plastic uh, piece back there, PVC, Carrier, you can't carry your traps back there. They'll fall right off. <laughs> They'll float at the top if they fall off. It's not a big deal, but you don't want them slowing you down. So uh, that piece, it costs like six bucks to make. So I just got to make my next one a little bit better. And uh, I will adjust it. And uh, hopefully I get it right the next time. So we'll catch you guys when we get home with the final count. Man. It's getting cold out here, but it was a good night. So catch you guys in a second. All right, good catch. Got six tonight. This one's the biggest one. It's 
So we got one, two, there's two there, three, four, five, six. Got him. <laughs> 